Hello, MGTOW brothers. It's a quiet evening, and a couple of things occur to me during my day, as you do when you're out in real life, living and working and so forth. And with everything else that's been said and going on with... Um, masculinity and the great challenges we face and the continued attack we as men are receiving both in real life and in all aspects of the um, manosphere on YouTube and mass media. One thing comes to mind which is very, very important in the journey of a man and especially with becoming a MGTOW man that actually frees up a lot of energy which would otherwise be spent on a relationship, on a female and the important thing here that I wish to mention is the importance of setting goals. It's um, so easy to get caught up in all the goings on on YouTube. You know, we all of us at one point tend to get caught up in um, one, one live stream then another and another and so forth and wind up spending way too much time on YouTube which isn't really the most helpful thing we can do considering it um, takes the smallest non-issue and explodes it into a cause of drama and contention which causes us to lose sight of our of our focus and of course that enables the attack against men and masculinity to become more uh, more effective So I wish to remind you guys of the importance of setting goals. Those of us who um, enjoy playing guitar, we set a goal to learn a certain thing or uh, reach a certain level of improvement and um, maybe be able to play in public and Enjoy the journey from there. Another man might wish to set a goal within his existing career, whatever that may be. Another man might wish to accomplish a long desired project to be finished maybe um, get back to that dusty beat up car in the garage in the corner which you've always meant to work on and restore well that can be a goal and the thing with goals once you start setting one you tend to focus your attention on this goal and when you start to focus your attention, you also start to focus your awareness and your energy begins to travel in that direction. And then you will usually begin to feel the flow of the energy and a sense of accomplishment will begin to uh, develop if it has hasn't uh, developed already then you feel 
pleased, pleased with yourself, pleased with your accomplishment, especially if you set benchmarks within your goal. Very important. And on to feeling a sense of self-worth and indeed self-empowerment and self-confidence because for so long we as men have been hammered down, ridiculed, battered down by the relentless hammers of gynocentric fascism. And especially these days when, you know, all the male roles in TV, film, whatever, are little more than mindless, blabbering uh, buffoons and stuttering imbeciles. I'm not sure about you, but it's been a long time since I've seen on TV or film a truly positive, truly masculine male role model. And of course, with um, within goals and all the other wonderful things that we accomplish and set our minds on on the path of, of a MGTOW man there is a tendency to be caught up in too much materialism and I've seen on more than a few occasions in any kind of video content context the emphasis on, okay, we're going to turn our backs on relationships with women, so we're going to work on being as rich as possible and accumulating as much stuff as possible. Um, yeah, you could do that, but at the end of the day, that's really not going to bring you a true sense of, of worth, of true peace, happiness and enjoyment which is why the quest of setting goals goes hand in glove with the hero's journey that I've already mentioned in previous videos the focus on um, on one's inner world looking within and some men deal with on a daily basis and struggle with such things as procrastination and those of us who have dealt with that and suffered through that it can be a total killer and then you re reach a point where you realize how much time you've actually wasted with so little to show for it and you know there are a few things more discouraging and depressing than that realization in that moment it's not the end of the world but in that moment it sort of sometimes feels it is as if it is and again it all it's all intertwined this is where a man needs to bring awareness to bear and just to predominantly and very importantly be honest with yourself if you catch yourself indulging in a certain pattern of behavior in a certain pattern of thought or emotion acknowledge it and in that moment be okay with the fact that this is what you're feeling this is what you're doing this is what what's going on but let it go and 
seek for your focus, reclaim your focus, because it's so easy in this fast-paced world with so many distractions to be diverted from our quests, from our goals. I mean, which sort of reminds you of a little something else before I wrap this up. In the uh, in any kind of mythological context, in any kind of archetypal story or what have you, in literature and so forth, you have the, um, again, within the hero's journey, you have the quest. The quest is, well, what I'm talking about, a goal, setting a goal. And we as men need that. We need to set goals. We need to accomplish. We need to achieve. If we don't, then we have problems. Then we basically begin to die inside. And then we kind of indulge in, you know, the alcohol and the drugs and the sex and all all the rest of it. So it can be a vicious cycle. Just something to bear in mind. When you're out there living your life, and please, once again, make sure you do get out there and you live your life. Away from the computer, away from YouTube, away from live streams. Okay, I mean, we all have our favourites that we like to catch. But don't let it be all that you do or most of what you do. Get out there. Achieve your goals. Do the things that make you happy. Very important. Metal MGTOW and guitar, out.